Hey everybody, it's Dave Vinatogi here, looking at the last week ahead before we go on to uh, wherever our next event at the full moon is. So, here we are for July 2nd when nothing happens except for some more tensions between Yukari and Mitsuru. We still haven't figured out exactly what will be going on during that day. Cause we got, on the 7th, we got a couple ideas of what may happen. And we've got the couples thing. We got whatever is up with Mitsuru. We've got those weird people who are coming out in the dark hour who shot that guy. You go anyway. But I'm, I'm thinking it may be having to do with couples or whatever because there were several cutscenes before that involved somebody talking about couples and a lot of the dialogue from the NPCs do. And then there's this scene, of course, which is another scene about couples. So we're probably going to go that way. Oh, hey, and it's another school thing, which is not a bad idea, because I know we have tests coming up soon, like literally the day after we go out to do our next challenge, trial and tribulations thing. Oh. Now, luckily, this question is going to Junpei, so I don't look like an idiot, thankfully. But it's about Japanese money, which I have no idea is what it's to answer. So we have these answers of... I should have taken, like, when I following this up, I thought, oh, maybe it was a clue when Jupe's like, oh, but I don't carry big bills. So I was like, oh, maybe I should have gone with the 10,000 yen, which is the equivalent of $100. But then I thought about it, I was like, well, that's also the equivalent of $50 and $20. So if he's not carrying paper bills and he's not carrying a t the equivalent of a $20 bill, I don't know what to think. It's his own damn fault. Not my the asshole. Speaking of assholes, hey, Kasushi is not in swim team. What a surprise! I'm only here because I actually feel great again because I keep getting lucky this whole week pulling the draws from the lottery slot, which I won't complain. I definitely would rather go swimming when I feel great than when I don't. Especially if I'm tired, that would just be stupid, and I probably wouldn't be able to recover then. And that's probably when I would get sick, most definitely. Yes. <sighs> Kazushi apparently has been training on his own, so, uh... Ooh, his hamstring is getting ripped apart. He won't be able to walk anymore if he keeps it up. Yet yeah, he's still going to keep doing it like an idiot. For some silly reason. Ugh. So, he really shouldn't be swimming. Oh well, let's fuck the doctors. Oh well, I fuck you. Uh, suck it up and stop swimming. Or suck it up and keep pushing and fuck yourself over. I don't know. Either quite or go either way. But he's showing a lot of the, the attributes of the chariot in this cutscene, especially uh, a card clearly a force of control, uh, similarly to the emperor, except the emperor's more of emotional control that totally suppresses all the emotions in favor of logic and reason, the man driving the chariot knows that his emotions are not to be swept under a rug, but trained and used in his great for the greater good. Which he shows right here with this lovely new music. An embodiment of the type of discipline that is necessary to gain control over the emotions. That pretty much sounds like Kazushi at this point. Which is kind of funny. Uh, apparently on the Thoth deck, as opposed to the Rider and uh, Smith? Rider Wait. Rider Wait deck. The Thoth one uh, has the phrase abracadabra on it, which may seem foolish at first glance. Uh, the stage magician's catchphrase is not really what it is referencing. It, abracadabra apparently comes from Hebrew, and it translates roughly to what I have said will be done, or as it is said, so it shall be, which... That's pretty much Kazushi's relationship to his cousin at this point. So, well, hopefully he'll still be able to walk after this whole line is done the end of the social link. Yay, I'm smart now! Hey, I know what I'm doing this weekend. I'm going to create a new social link. Why not? Yay! 
Ugh. Finally, some happiness after all that depressingness with Kazushi. Ugh. Nah, I'm not nervous. Insurgents. The We Are Seas and not Avalanche. I should have gone S E E S and not A V A L A N C H E E. C H E E. Yes. Good job, David. You know how to spell. Avalanche. Wow! His wife just left for GeckoCon, which is like literally all the way across the town. The school is in the lower right corner, and uh, a water die station is like not all the way upper left. I mean, it's a little in, it's a little closer to the center. Pretty damn close to the dorms, which is literally right across the street. The town. Wow. And she probably walked. Yeah, she probably walked. Wow. That is crazy. That's the good old Hierophant. Uh, I didn't read too much about the Hierophant, but something about it's... The final leg of the triad that's previously seen in the Empress and the Emperor. Uh, in some decks, this card is known as the Pope or High Priest, but in actuality, a Hierophant is a person who holds forbidden or secret knowledge. While this easily applies to the clergy, it has far greater scope than this. I don't know, I... That's a very, very, very brief, stupid thing. I haven't read too much into it. Eh. Not much time to read into it during this cutscene anyway, but... Hmm. Apparently that persimmon tree is supposed to be cut down, which is the first I've heard about it. So I'll probably go ask around, especially the girl and the boy that hang around in that hallway after school, right by the persimmon tree. It's not that big a persimmon tree. And it looks like it's maybe only 10 years old at the most, or something. Now. Saying goodbye to Bunkichi, Mitsuko. So there's our Saturday. Sunday! So we're gonna buy a, a fucking Kevlar vest. <laughs> oh, wow, well that looks expensive, doesn't it? <laughs> no, it's not. It's like a fifth, or 5% of my income. Wow, Tartarus has been very good to me. Oh, so lovely. Oh, ready for this? Ready for this? A missing elementary school girl was found. However, his stack expression indicates that she may have fallen victim to apathy syndrome. God, I love this game for its mistakes sometimes. Been a lot of them lately, it seems. And apparently, Ken Kun's still here, and we're still talking with him, Ikari, and Junpei. So. He's probably gonna become somewhat relevant to the story at some point, I think. It's kinda like kinda like um um Shinjiro. Akihiko's buddy. I don't know. It's it's could go either way. He could just be a nobody. He could have some slight NPC plot relevance. Whatever. I'm not here for him, I'm here for this guy, the thin young man. Mr. Mopey. Now that I'm smart, I can actually talk to him. And he's asking a question. I'm gonna reply with the only statement, which kind of makes it easy to answer this question. Unlike Nozomi, where I had to, you know, actually know things about the area. <sighs> okay, so he's a poet who used ugh, blood red ink. Like that's not creepy and depressing. And this guy is all like, I will kill myself. It was across down the lane, not across the street. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go looking for the pen. I'm gonna go looking for the pen. And it's not around the playground at all. Or anywhere else in this area. Not that I can find. Uh, I was thinking maybe I could buy it. Since I couldn't find it just lying around anywhere. And I don't see it in any of the stores. It's not in the antique store. It's not in the drug store. I checked the school store, but it's a Sunday, so of course the school is closed. Yeah. Um, the only thing I do find is that apparently I am somehow connected to the sign. Minato, that's my, the main character's real name is Minato Arisato. Try saying that five times fast. So here's a clue. White fur and red eyes. I, if I remember correctly, I think he's talking about Kumatora, the dog. The dog. So I'm wondering if I had just... This is another one of those things like the, like the classroom where if I had actually gotten 
my scads up high enough, I could have gotten him. Because I think, you know, if I had gotten to that, if I had already gotten the connection started it with him, then maybe I would have gotten Kumatora come by and been like, hey, you got a pen? And then maybe I would have gotten a pen. I don't know. We have more talks about couples. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this whole week, starting tomorrow, it's going to be about something about couples. I'm pretty sure. Because they've definitely been hammering that a lot. Whatever is going to happen with couples, I don't know. But hey, yeah. yeah. So, Junpei is excited and he's actually making some sense. Sounded reasonable. I mean, I was kind of getting a little excited to see what was coming up too. <gasps> Ooh, excuse me. Yeah. And of course, he has to say something stupid like going to Tartarus the night before. Yeah, because we definitely should be really tired before we go out into this big mission that we have to succeed at. Yeah, that's real smart, big guy. God damn, he's such an idiot sometimes, isn't he? Ugh. That's our stupid. Please return to the dorm immediately after school. Aye aye, chief. See you there. <laughs>